everyone, I'm Tammy from Nutmeg Notebook and today I wanna to share with you five of my favorite freezer hacks. Did you know that you can actually freeze citrus whole? That's right, you don't have to juice them. How'd I find that out? Well, our Myers lemon tree produced over 100 lemons one time and at the, they were all ripe at the same time. I didn't have time to juice them all before they went bad. So I picked them, washed them, and then I popped them in freezer bags and I froze them. Afterwards, they juiced so easily because the um, little membranes kind of swell up when they're frozen. And then as they thaw, all the liquid comes out so much easier. So you can use a freezer gallon size bag, a quart size freezer bag, or you can use the Stasher silicone reusable bags or the Zip Top silicone reusable bags. Super easy to do. Just throw your citrus in after you've washed them, dried them, and then just seal the tops and you will be good to go. Now, if you want the zest, you do need to zest them before you freeze them because it's very difficult to do the zest after they've been frozen. That's hack number one. Number two, cheese sauce and hummus. Did you know you can freeze it? So we're plant-based. I make a chipotle nacho cheese sauce. You can freeze it. When you thaw it out, it might be a little bit watery. You can stir it with a whisk or pop it back in your blender and give it a little blend. Also, I make large batches of hummus. Then I divide them up into smaller containers and pop those in the freezer. And if I'm doing a lot of them, then I will label them to make sure that I know what they are. And I like these little snapware containers. They're glass on the bottom, plastic on the top. You can either put a paper label on here or you can use a white erase board marker and put that on there. I find that the stickers work better because the white um, board markers can rub off quite easily. They're good for about a month and it makes it great for travel. You can take them out of the freezer frozen, use them as your little ice pack in your cooler or your lunch bag and you're good to go. We like to make large batches of our grains. This happens to be brown rice and why not make a whole pot full instead of just enough for a few days. Then my husband divides them up into these four cup containers and we put these in the freezer. That's working smarter, not harder in the kitchen. And then we just pull one out as we need it. That way we almost always have rice ready to go. Another thing I like to do is batch prep soups. Why make just a single recipe? Double your recipe and freeze at least half of it. That way you have soups ready to go. That's what we call our fast food. We like to use these super cubes. They come in a variety of sizes, all the way from two ounce up to two cups. We divide up our soups, chilies, and stews into the two cup containers. And then they, when they are done being frozen, you can pop out your little soup cube and four of them will actually fit perfectly into a gallon size freezer bag. Then I label these and we put them in a bin inside our freezer and we always have soup ready to heat and eat. The last thing I want to show you is going to be a frozen salad. What you say, you're freezing a salad. If we get to the end of the week or we're leaving to go on vacation and we batch prep our salads, we do 14 of them a uh, for the week, seven for my husband, seven for me. If we have them left over, we will just go ahead, put them in a gallon size freezer bag and pop them in the freezer. I don't use any lettuce in these and so they can actually be used for cooking. That's right, you can saute these in a skillet on top of the stove or you can add them to some broth and make a soup out of them. So there's arugula, 
baby spinach, baby kale, broccoli slaw, shredded carrots, red cabbage, and red onion in here, as well as just a handful of little cherry tomatoes. And this works great. Super fast meal on a busy night. Just stir fry it and put it over your favorite grain. Add your favorite sauce and you're good to go. I hope these freezer hacks have been helpful for you. I use them all the time and they save me a lot of time in the kitchen. So work smarter, not harder. I'm Tammy and I help you get healthy and stay healthy one meal at a time. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.